Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In my previous video, I mentioned that to find the approximation of y values in the finite difference method, you must transform your system of linear equations into matrix form. And you will get something like this. The first matrix here, this matrix is the coefficient matrix. And this matrix is denoted as matrix A. And the second matrix, this matrix here, is the column vector of variable y. So this is the vector y. And equals to, and this matrix here, also a column vector. And this is the vector b. So now you need to, run, you need to um, solve the equation ay equals to b to find the y value. And actually, to solve this ay equals to b, to find the y values, you can use a lot of methods such as famous rule, Gaussian elimination, LU factorization, or you can also use an uh, iterative method. But the interesting fact about uh, this uh, finite difference method is this matrix A is not just a random matrix. It is actually a tridiagonal matrix. And that is why this system is called tridiagonal system. And to solve tridiagonal system, you can use Thomas algorithm. So in this video, I will explain to you on how to use Thomas algorithm to solve tridiagonal system. But if let's say the A matrix is not tridiagonal matrix, so our system now is not tridiagonal system. So my question is, can we use Thomas algorithm to solve non-tridiagonal system? And the answer is no. For non-tridiagonal system, you cannot use Thomas algorithm. So Thomas algorithm only can be used if the system is tridiagonal system. Okay, in Thomas algorithm, your system must be tridiagonal system. And for a system to be tridiagonal, the A matrix must be tridiagonal matrix. So what is tridiagonal matrix? Tridiagonal matrix is a matrix that has non-zero elements on number one on the main diagonal comma number two the upper diagonal above the main diagonal And number three, the lower diagonal below the main diagonal. So, for a matrix to be a tridiagonal matrix, that matrix must have has non-zero elements on the main diagonal, the upper diagonal above the main diagonal, and also the lower diagonal below the main diagonal. For example, this A and B matrix are tridiagonal matrix. Okay, for matrix A here, this A matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix. 
in this matrix is called tridiagonal matrix. Why? First reason, because the main diagonal elements are all non-zero. These three values, these three elements are the elements of the main diagonal. And these three elements on the main diagonal are all non-zero elements. So, uh, this satisfies the first property here. Okay, and then, this matrix A, the upper diagonal above the main diagonal, which is this element here, 2 and 1, also non-zero. So, this satisfied the second property of tridiagonal matrix. And... For the lower diagonal below the main diagonal, which is these two elements here, are all non-zero elements. So this also satisfied the third property of tridiagonal matrix. So that is why the matrix A is a tridiagonal matrix. Okay, for B, B is a 4 by 4 matrix. And this is the elements of the main diagonal of B. And as you can see here, the elements of the main diagonal are all non-zero elements. And the elements of the upper diagonal, these elements here, also non-zero element and the lower diagonal below the main diagonal these elements here all values are all non-zero and the other elements in B are zero and since this uh, matrix B satisfy all these properties here, so this matrix B is called a tridiagonal matrix. Okay, so back to our main business here. How to use Thomas algorithm in finding the solution of a tridiagonal system. So basically, in Thomas method, you just apply the formula of Thomas. To find the solution of a system, system of linear equations. So this uh, Thomas formula is actually derived from the formula in Gaussian elimination method. These are all the formulas used in Thomas algorithm. Okay, formula number one is the formula to compute the alpha i value and given the value of alpha 1 is equals to b1 and formula number 2 is the formula to compute uh, beta i value and formula number 3 is used to compute the y the wi value and given that the w1 value equals to b1 over alpha 1. And the last formula is formula to compute the yi value and the yi value is the value of y variable in ay equals to b system. So this why I indicate these y values. Okay. And given also the y n minus 1 is equal to w n minus 1. This y n minus 1 is actually the last variable or the last unknown in your system. Okay, If let's say in your problem you have 
three equations, three unknowns. And the last value of the unknowns is the y3. So the y3 is equal to w3. But if let's say you have uh, in your problems, you have uh, four equations for unknowns. So the last variable is the y4 variable. So y4 is equal to w4. From these four formulas of Thomas algorithm, there are a lot of new unknown, new variables, new alphabet. Uh, so actually, the new unknowns are only alpha, beta, and w. The other unknowns such as D, C, E, B are all values from your matrix A, the tridiagonal matrix. So, what are the values for B, C, D and E? So if, let's say, you have uh, three equations, three unknowns, this is A, this is the variable Y, and this is the B. And in A matrix now, A is a 3 by 3 matrix, and we know that A is a tridiagonal matrix. The first element here, this element is the D1 value. And D2 value is the second element of the main diagonal of A. And D3 is the third element of main diagonal in A. And the upper diagonal above the main diagonal this is E1 and this is E2. Okay, but for the lower diagonal below the main diagonal, we start with C2. I'm sorry, this is not E3. This is supposed to be C3. So the elements for the uh, lower diagonal below the main diagonals are C2 and C3. Okay, please remember this form of matrix A, the tridiagonal matrix. The main diagonal is D1, D2 and D3. The upper diagonal above the main diagonals are E1 and E2. And the lower diagonal below the main diagonals are C2 and C3. And um, the B vector, and the elements in B vector are B1, B2 and B3. And this is the form of matrices in system of four equations for unknowns. Okay, so uh, please try to memorize these forms of AY equals to B because later you will insert the B, C, D, E and E values in Thomas formula and that formula will be used to find the values for Y variables.